Pick Studio. Who's this? This is Jeff Pilsen of Foreigner. How you doing? Jeff Pilsen, what is going on, my man? How you doing today? Great, great. Glad to hear it. Now, I have to say, I'm super excited to be talking to you today because you are actually the only member of the classic Dawkins lineup I've yet to speak to. So you are my missing Dawkins puzzle piece, Jeff Pilsen. Wow. Well, here we go. There you go. Exactly. (laughs) In fact, a couple weeks ago, I was actually hanging out with both Don and George from Dawkins together, which was kind of a rare sighting. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, they've been doing shows together. It's been cool. Yeah, they were fantastic. So before... Before we get into some foreigner news, I would totally kick myself if I didn't bring up one of my favorite movies of all time, which is Rockstar, which you were in. Yes, I was Jorgen Wolf, the Icelandic bass player. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm curious, how did you get involved with that movie? Hmm. Well, I was called to play bass. The guy that produced the music, Tom oh. Worman, had produced Dawkins Tooth and Nail record. And, you know, we had gotten along well. He was doing the music for Rockstar, and he called me up and he said, hey, do you want to play bass on the sessions? And I said, absolutely. So I I came in and started rehearsing with the band, and the director came and saw the rehearsals, and he said, this is the dynamic I want for the band. He goes, so he came up to me and said, I love this. Would you, would you consider being in the movie? And I said, well, let me think about it. Yes. (laughs) (laughs) And, um, so they, you know, I had, I did have to, you know, do an audition, you know, with, with the acting people and everything, but I got the part and it was amazing. Fantastic. I mean, that movie has kind of become a cult classic in a way, you know, I feel like maybe it wasn't as appreciated when it first came out, but now man, it is coming back and it is coming back with a vengeance. Well, it did come out, on, I believe, on September 9th, 2001, so yeah. a couple of days later, we had a bit of a problem. <laughs> yeah, that's what I heard. I've actually had the pleasure of uh, getting to know Millie, you know, from Steelheart, who was the uh, sure. vocalist in Steel Dragon, in Rockstar, if yeah. you will, and yeah, he was telling me all about that, that, um, you know, We All Die Young, which was the big single for that movie, was supposed to blow up, had the whole record company behind it, and then 9-11 mm-hmm. happened, and, uh, you know, exactly. you can't have can't have songs that say die on the radio right after 9-11. Right. As it makes sense. Like I was saying, you know, I, I've had the pleasure to get to know Millie. And uh, last time I was talking to him about, I don't know, two weeks ago or so, he was saying he actually wants to get a Steel Dragon reunion show in the works. Is that something you'd be involved with? Well, you know, the communication that we all have, basically, they know that if it can ever be done, I'm certainly open to it. I mean, my schedule is a little wacky, but I'm, I'm always going to be open to it. Um, you know, I feel that was a very important thing for me. So, yeah, I'd, I'd love to do that. Well, I would love to see it. I'm telling you, if you guys made that happen, I'd fly out to wherever it was to see Steel Dragon live in concert. I mean, what a lineup. I mean, you got Zach Wilde on there. Of course, you on bass. I'm not sure if Jason Bonham would be doing anything, but he was part of the original original lineup as well. And of course, Millie from Steelheart. Yeah, it, that's a pretty strong band right there. <laughs> yeah, not bad at all. I think you guys should have made it a real band, gone on a tour or something. That would have been cool. Yeah, well, you know, we, we talked about stuff, but it was just so hard to get schedules together yeah. for that. Warner Brothers was actually into that at one point, but, you know, we just couldn't make it happen. Yeah, makes sense. All right, let's get into some foreigner talk. So first off, congratulations. Almost 20 years in foreigner, Jeff Pilsen. Yeah, this is my 20th year. Exactly. Which, correct me if I'm wrong, but that makes you the longest standing bass player in foreigner history, does it not? I am, actually. I I actually am the longest tenured bass player. Yes, I am. (laughs) You know what? Not a bad place to be. So tell me, I mean, obviously, you know, you started out in Dawkins amongst many other projects, but how did you get to Foreigner? How did I get to Foreigner? Well, actually through the movie that we were just talking about, because when I was in Rockstar, I was in Rockstar with Jason Bonham. Yeah. And Jason and I got along well, and we even wrote a song together that uh, I believe is on the soundtrack record. It didn't make the actual movie, but... um. Anyway, so we had, you know, that good chemistry. So when he started working with Mick Jones a couple of years after the movie, they just brought me in, you know, he wanted to see if I'd be interested. And we came down and the chemistry was powerful. And then he basically talked Mick into revamping Foreigner. And I've been here ever since. Man, and we're glad you're here. You're doing a killer job, which brings up the fact, the farewell tour. You guys are doing it right now. In fact, making your way to Hero Arena at Mountain America Center in Idaho Falls, September 26th. So so is this it? This is the tour. Well, this isn't the very final leg, but um, yes, it is the farewell tour and we do mean it, but it's going to go well. You know, it's going to go at least till the end of 2024. So it may not be the last time you see us, but yes, we are seriously calling it a day and we, we want to go out while we're still on top. So the feeling is very strong that that's what we're going to do. And uh, 
I think I I stand by that because I think it's a show of integrity. Totally agreed with you. I know last week you guys announced a Las Vegas residency for 2024 for the historic farewell tour. Are those going to be the final shows? No, 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 not well, not necessarily. Um, We don't really know yet, but um, we know that we're going to do eight shows at the beginning of 2024, the end of March and early April. Uh, And then we have another residency later in 2024, the end of October and early November. So, uh, yeah, quite quite a bit of Vegas residency next year, which is pretty exciting. But um, I don't know if that's going to be the absolute last show or not, but uh, possibly. You know, I hope not, because it seems like you guys still have so much juice left in you. Well, yeah, and, and, you know, just because we're doing a farewell tour doesn't mean that we're doing a complete retirement. I mean, sure. we, we still may do occasional shows here and there, you know, special events or whatever. It's just this is the end of that, you know, nine months in the year you're on the road kind of thing. Yeah, I mean, a lot of guys do that. I mean, Ozzy Osbourne announced not too long ago he's completely done touring, but he'll still do one-off shows here and there. And Kiss said the same thing. So I say Foreigner can keep going as long as they possibly possibly can probably I, let's hope that that's the case yeah. <laughs> <laughs> exactly so once foreigner is you know said and done maybe you'll do some shows here and there what is the plan for jeff pilson what is your next project well you know i i have several other musical projects that i'm involved with i have the m machine with george lynch and steve brown from tesla and uh we have a new singer by the name of garish pradhan who is amazing mm-hmm. he lives in india you you probably haven't heard of him yet but you will because the guy is Phenomenal. I also have uh, Black Swan with Reb Beach, Robin McCauley, and Matt Starr. And uh, then I got Revolution Saints with Dean Castronova and Joel Hoekstra. So maybe those projects can see a little, you know, maybe we, I can perform live with them at that some point. Who knows? But, you know, a lot of recording is what's going to be on Jeff Pilson's plate following uh, 2024. All right. I can't wait to hear what you have lined up. And once again, Foreigner making their way to Hero Arena at Mountain America Center on September 26th. We can't wait to see you guys. Select tickets still available. You can check them out on our website, ClassicRockIdaho.com. Anything you want to say about the show, Jeff? No, just that uh, I can't wait for people to see it. We're really excited about it. It's been a great, 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 great tour so far and we're just really excited with how people are reacting and we're having a blast great can't wait to see you guys and before you leave i do have to bring up one more thing mortal Kombat. does that ring any bells (laughs) yeah of course (laughs) of course (laughs) i was just seeing that you did the voice of johnny cage for the 2011 mortal Kombat reboot that's awesome that's right that's right that that is is my one venture into voiceovers but that was really fun and really cool and it is i love when i get asked about that i think that's uh i mean that's something i would love to do more of maybe someday i can um but yeah what a trip I, i loved it i mean when you were in the studio recording the lines where there are a lot of all right give us a couple grunts no give us a grunt this way and things like that well yeah there was there was a couple of yeah there was some people giving me direction absolutely you know and they wanted you know they, they get you to you know you have to scream you know like give us two minutes of screaming and you know stuff like that <laughs> uh, it's it's a it's a vocal challenge actually it's it's quite a workout but uh it was it was so much fun i bet that's what i like to hear man well hopefully we get to see you do some more voiceover work in the future you know maybe in a grand yeah, theft auto video game or something right yeah yeah, love it. Not bad. Let's put it out in the universe. Jeff Pilson is ready for Grand Theft Auto. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Jeff, thank you so much for joining me on the phone today. Once again, Foreigner, Hero Arena at Mountain America Center, September 26th. Find your tickets on our website, ClassicRockIdaho.com. We cannot wait for the show. And thank you once again, Jeff Pilson, for joining me today. Well, thank you, man. This has been great. And talk soon. Hey, sounds good. Thank you.